Hey everyone, uh, welcome to a super special episode of What's Up Peoria. When you found out that you were coming to Peoria, I mean like, what, did, what, did, what were your thoughts? Well, first up, what's up, what's up Peoria? So my name is Scott Fegley. My name's Kevin Jones. And uh, I'm a native of uh, Central Illinois uh, person. The amateur golf scene around here is huge. I mean, just in Pekin, there's 30,000 people. We have four golf courses that every weekend are just slammed. We, we felt like the show strap would be perfect in this area because it's, it is a little bit of everything and it's not, um, there's golf that's not pretentious. I throw a little thing on Facebook, like, hey, you know, it's no laying up, you know, awesome golf stuff. You know, they're doing a contest for Jack Beach Junior Golf, you know, throw some money their way and see if Peoria can get on the leaderboard or something. People just in droves are just donating. It's golf that's uh, affordable. Um, there's uh, quality junior junior golf programs. Um, and you don't need a hundred bucks to go play a good course. You can go play a good course for 20 bucks. Like, Fegley's text me like, hey, like this is insane. Like there's more coming in, there's more coming in. This PayPal is just going crazy. So, um, you know, and luckily we kind of outlasted the bigger markets and uh, here we are. Another day has come and gone. Just one more trip around the sun. Gentlemen, uh, let me be the first to welcome you to Peoria, Illinois. Thank you. I Thank you for having us. Well, thank to the city for having us. Thank the, truly the people. Let, let the people know it's a homecoming for the NARC, in a way. Uh, of, of sorts. We'll get to that later. Tr uh, truly the people that have willed this to be. Yeah. How was your flight? I drove. Fuel it up with some appetizers. <laughs> well, we got the hard sell by the waitress. Apparently these beef bites are not to be missed. <laughs> You guys putting down some beers early? How are you guys feeling about the budget? Uh, well, I was reading the sign earlier. It says merchants licensed to sell whiskey, tobacco, and spirits. And I love a one-stop shop like that. And I feel like that's what this town's gonna be. The problem is not a lot is open. So I think that's gonna free up some budget for some cold beers. Have e either of you been to Peoria before? No. No. But I did know that Caterpillar was based here. Pretty cool. That's that's technically the headquarters over there, I think. The Soviet era <laughs> building? I think I see Gorbachev's <laughs> office up top. But the things I know about Peoria could probably fit on a post-it note. I know it's home to Bradley University. I, I sheepishly I don't know much at all. I heard something. I heard that if it plays in Peoria, it might do well in the rest of the country. What, is, what does that mean? It means it's kind of like the bellwether, the benchmark of uh, the middle class in America, or maybe it used to be. Uh, we might have to flesh that out a little bit. Hey, we're open Central Illinois. Maybe the dog goes a little further. Also, we can stretch we it. just found some good information. On the menu, it says these cold beers were six dollars, and I was willing to pay that price. But guess what? I think it's a lunch special, three dollars. I don't know if it's that, or she just is bringing you smaller ones that are cheaper. Well, regardless, they taste good and they're cheaper. It's really, really welcome to get out on the road. I've, I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. I had a nightmare on Friday that I missed my flight and I woke up in a cold sweat. It's happened before. Did you think DJ was gonna be mad at you? No, I just, I, I set three alarms this morning. I just, I was stressed out about the airport. That's what I'm getting at. It's like, I thought I was gonna get there. I didn't know what to expect. And it was totally, you know, normal. Just put a, put a mask on and, and uh, close your eyes, basically. You guys are eating like kings. Seen, seen this movie before. 
We gotta get good, we, all, we know this, we gotta get a good meal on our bellies if we're gonna play good, right? Heavy meal, a lot of starch, a lot of calories. I like, I like our chances. I feel like I've been in a cocoon for like four months. You, you know? ready to come out? Well, let's I'm ready. get you out, you big beautiful butterfly. Yeah, you know, I, I shaved the head, I got a stash popping that I'm super proud of. I'm ready to, I'm, you know, I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fly. Although I only, did you, what are the, did we get Stella's? Those are the $3 ones, because there's the stone, the are stone still ones. On there? Not the hack, I don't mean the hack. No, I'll be right okay, there. thank yeah. you very much. Wow, you're a scumbag. No one, hey listen, I was just checking it over. Uh, $42, which. That's not that bad. It's not bad. I, it's not. Your beef bites cost more than my beards, brother. I have a good feeling about this week. Do you Forward think the mega bit. bonus is in play? The problem. Are we gonna be able to spend the mega bonus if we get it? Good point. Wouldn't that be some dark? Poetry? You know what we should do? We should buy an annuity with it. Just be like, you know what? Let's roll it over. Defer we're, it. We're gonna defer it twenty years from now, and then we'll fucking party on that. Whatever, fifteen hundred bucks. That'd be sick. All right, well, let's go. We gotta go get it first. All right, yeah, yeah. That's right. We're talking about it too early. That's right. All right, bud, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's come go. on, let's go explore. This is home. Well, it's worth noting, like, like due to COVID concerns, we did this the first time we booked ahead of time. And we got separate bedrooms. Do we? I was gonna let that be a surprise, but yeah. Oh, sorry. Wow. <laughs> Live like kings here in Peoria. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, it's a Bradley. Home of the Braves. So, so the, the hoops team's a big deal around here, huh? Huge deal. Really? Gene Melchiori, Neil, have you ever heard of him? <laughs> <laughs> Percy Hawkins, no, have you ever heard of him? I've heard of Percy Hawkins. Oh my God, we live like kings, man. This is the best one we've ever had. It's pretty good, good, right? Uh, yeah. This looks like the Narc's master master bedroom in here. Does it? It's got a workstation for him. Oh. Well, I'd be happy to take this room. No, sorry. This is production only. Strap boys live upstairs. <laughs> Strap boys take the stairs, always. Oh, foosball table, Neil. Bunch of stuffed animals, it's a little weird, but. That's cool. A couple of mints. You know, can I be honest? I've never been a big, like, mint guy. You know, chocolate mint flavor. Someone said it's it's uh, like mixing business and pleasure. Yeah, yeah, that's a good take. Yeah. I don't, I've never been into those. But I appreciate the sentiment. Does this work? Yeah. Yeah, can you leave me alone? I have to be my mental app now. Okay. Let me stop you right there. You've been using a, a what? Like a, a golf mental app, like a headspace type of thing for golf. Like a hypnosis thing? No, not so much. It's more like visualizations and stuff. Like before you hit like, you know, two or three deep breaths before you, you're gonna, you know, hit the big stick. Like just simple stuff like that. So. Have you played since you started doing uh, this? No, I haven't. I don't think it can hurt. It, it can't hurt. Today's lesson, the, uh, the fuel of positive energy. It's three minutes. Today we begin a new journey with The Secret of Golf by Joe Posnanski. This amazing book is about Tom Watson's rivalry with Jack Nicholas. Sometimes the difference between the shot you visualize and the shot you hit can make you feel like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So what's the point of all that mental effort? The point, Rodson says, is that positive energy fuels the golf swing. When you hit a bad shot, when visualization and reality don't align, remember Tom Watson. Let positive energy fuel your golf swing and you'll discover the power of your mental game like never before. I mean, I feel like a cheese dick, but I think there was some good stuff in there. I'd hate to see you go too far down that road, Neil. Some concerning things, I... Well, I don't know. If you start, like, winking at me on the course and... But I think we both can agree that I need to be more positive. Sure. Especially after a bad shot. Sure. So maybe just keep that top of mind. Yeah. No, right? I think that's good. I'd I love to see you exploring different avenues to change your mental approach. All right, man, let's go get it. All right, let's go make some Watson pars.
Is this it? This is it, baby. This is it. Oh, Fellas, God. I got This looks so quaint and delightful. <laughs> Oldest public course in uh, Peoria, I believe. Really? I believe so. Looks like there's some subtle nuances to these greens. <laughs> this could be the, the best round of golf of the year, right now. Are you ready for that? Where else would you rather be today? Looks awesome. That Prancy Nancy, she's always from the antsy. Running to the boss, then she know me and Anthony. To hell with Jake, and slither and slimy snake. Squealing and backstabbing the definition of fake. My boss is like a hog, always smelling like slob. Squealing at the top of his lungs, ruining the. Yeah, what the hell is that? Steel shafted driver. I was intrigued by Jimmy Walker's experiment, thinking maybe it would help me hit because I'm hitting the irons. <laughs> Couldn't be hitting them better. So he shot like 52 on the back nine. This yeah, I know, but you know, we'll take the good stuff from Jimmy and get rid. You know, throw throw the bad stuff out. All right. What about the stargazing? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Like I, you well, know, we're about to start. This is what I'm talking about with commitment. We're we're about to literally step on the first tee. You better fucking decide what you're going to do. If you're going to do it, I love it. But we got to. It's not a. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. It's this is the best idea I've ever had. And I'm going to do it. Otherwise, yeah. it's not going to work. Well, I've already done some testing. So, and you're in. No, I was kind of, I'm kind of caught in the middle. That's that's the whole, that's the whole fucking problem. I'm stuck, dude. I'm in the goddamn wilderness. What do you think? He's already overthinking it. Like, just do it. All right. You want me to make a decision for you? No. Play with it. Make the best of it. Thank you. That's what I've been fucking looking for. Yeah. That's what I just said. No, you've been in my head. Yeah. We're doing it. Funky squirrel gets knocked down, shakes everything, gets got, fights run of the round. After a long day of cracking nuts, he heads downtown. It's his favorite spot. He came to get down. She's a fine honey bunny named Jessica Rabbit. She 50, had a whole looks like 5,400 yards today, but I have a brand new pack of Callaway Chrome Softs, number twos. We find a triple track number fours. Boy, you must be nuts if you think you're inside. Well, oh you my God. Get on the green. Some questions. We're in a COVID world. Yeah. Rub the green in the bunkers? I think it's play the ball as it lies. I like bunkers, the rub of the green. Bunkers a hazard. I'm yeah. down to play that way. I think that God, yeah. we might play in Oh, there was one more hours. rule that we talked about in the car. That's right. There's always one more rule. Everybody has to have fun. Yes, of course. Yeah. Can I talk about the course? Please. I love just like such a fun walk. Um, you think it was worth 16 bucks? <laughs> it's a joke how cheap it is. Superior conditioning. I mean, good grass, the greens were true. Um, you know, a little roll in the fairways. Second hole. I love this shit when the pin is like a distant par five and you can see it all the way at the end. It's like very straightforward. Dead, this hole is dead straight. Like, how is that not sick? I, you know, you got me thinking now about the dead straight holes. That they're like, a couple are unnervingly straight Three. yeah where you're standing on the tee and it's like it almost helps me when there's a little curve it fits my eye better yes when they're dead straight number two was one of the best i've seen yeah it's a little bit more difficult just to kind of imagine the shot there was um, a sweet hole too around that tree over there the greens like look flat from the road but there's enough subtle breaks and you got some um Back to front, it, it's good. I mean, you got to put the ball in the right spots on, on most of them. Above the hole, squirrely sometimes. Uh, yeah. There were a couple putts, like three. I was in a, a position double. where, yeah, I was like, dude, this is a three putt for sure. Oh. It. oh my God, it's uncanny. It's like he's got a magnet on the hole with the with the hybrids. Neil for birdie. Just a formality there. Are you fucking kidding me? I knew that was going in. Is he fucking serious? It's unbelievable. That's Dude, what last, the last trip too. You had three of them. This is yeah. crazy. You gotta name it. It's probably like the sixth or seventh, like does off it, the green. Does it have a name? No, it doesn't. It's a, it's a bad boy though. It's a bad club. <laughs> it's probably closer to two forty. All right, they're squeezing some yardage here. Two thirty one at the par three. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Great birdie, bud. Thank you. It's cool that they don't even have the blue tees out. I, I guess they knew no real players are coming through today. It's a great place to come out and, you know, you can hit drivers anywhere on most holes. Uh, you're going to get a lot of wedge work. Yeah. Or you can take less and driver off. You know, you can play to yardages too if you want to If you want to attack it I that way. I can see a kid getting really good out here. It's like we were thinking a lot out there. For like sure. on 9T, I'm like yeah. going back and forth on what to hit. Like, what else are you looking for? I'm going to hit three. Because that puts me in, in that garden spot with the uh, with Rip Hamilton. What's Rip Hamilton? Sorry. Uh, that's my 58th degree. Mid-range. I'm getting real comfy from like 40 to 70 yards with it. I don't even like full swings. Just coming off picks, elbow jumpers, pump fake, one dribble pull-ups, bank shots, just all kinds of just two-pointers. Ah. Oh. Okay. He's putting. Stay up. Oh, great run. Comfy for. He turns and even. Neil. Listen, I got a little sloppy. Neil's even. Even we 35. Battled, we battled back from the double. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I'm so fucking jacked up about the decision I made on the last hole not to hit driver. Like the minute, I, I, there's a hundred times I can tell you where I've walked up to a green like that and be like, God, why did I hit driver? I mean, the minute I walked out, I was like, that was such a good decision. Going up the right side of the fairway, Randy, with the fade. Yep. First of all, I love crossing roads. So you cross a busy road. You, you cross over the first time going to 11. 11, 11 might be the best tee box I've seen in, in the United States. That's it, Randy. That's the one. Hell yeah. I will say, if I were the czar of golf, I know you're the czar, but if I were the czar of golf, stop, stop. I would make a course like this, you have to watch. Yeah. You can take a push cart or you can walk, or the folks who have to take a cart can take a cart, but everybody else, just come out and walk. Enjoy the day. Yeah. I mean, that might be a tough sell in this country. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit. Oh. Get it. Get it. Ah, ah, good line. What do the rest of the holes look like? Uh, we have a 314 yard par four. And then we're going par three, then 287 par four, 258 par four, 266 par four. 107 par three, and then 323 par four to end it. Interesting. Oh, almost the hot open over there. Yeah. Go, 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 sit, 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 fuck. I'll go. All right. That's a bit of a layup. <laughs> oh, that's a good roll. Almost stole one there, my man. Almost, good run. Listen, we're doing our diligence. This is all. This is the rules. This, this is all anybody could ask for. Strap bylaws. We're still waiting. Uh oh, there he is. It's that time. Do you want to explain this to me? Thirteen T. Neil's even. I wouldn't say that I'm in control of my golf swing, but my decision making has been strong to quite strong. I feel good. I think if it's ever going to happen, it's going to be you 
you know, kind of sneaking up on it like this more so than, you know, holding on to something. It feels a little more steady. Would you would you agree? I feel pretty steady you right feel, now. It feels like he's in control. It's it's a par 69. Um, nice. We're playing nice. 5,332 yards. Okay. And well, I think we're actually playing the back tees, though. The whites yeah. have all been on the so back tees. So maybe closer to 54. And the course rating is a 63.8, and the slope is a 92. Okay. So the course rating is 500 pounds. Yeah, that's right. But you know yeah. what? Baby steps, right? Like, uh, what did Nicholas make his kids break par from the Reds before they could move back? Exactly. Of course. I think that's what we're doing here. Listen, I'm fully in support of your quest here. Do you feel it's deserving of the mega bonus if you, if you break par on a, a slope 92? Uh, Three. Let me marinate on that, but yeah, I do. As of right now on this bench, I do. Golf is your own honor system here, okay? So sure. if, somebody, if somebody's asking you, hey, have you ever broken par before? And if you do it today, would you answer it with a qualifier? Yeah, I don't know. I think so. Would you? I mean, it's kind of like Avon Fields, right? Oh. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? No, I would say I broke par though. You know what I'm saying? Like it does, tech, it counts for sure. It's not a fucking pitching putt out here. But you just said you'd put a butt on the end of it. I would say yeah. It was a, it was a it was a muni I don't know what I, I don't know. I never had to well, fucking decide. Well, how about fucking do it first? Yeah, right? he's trying to put. Yeah, I know. No, I'm not gonna let him. I'm not. No, I'm not worried about that. Say, this is a no personal qualifiers, thing. Qualifiers, of course. Breaking of course. Par if I break par, par, I break par. Yeah, just do it. Though. All right, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Stop messing around and just do it. It's time. Oh, it's TC. Oh, God. What's up? TC, TC's checking in from the cabana. <laughs> tell Freddie that Uncle Neil misses him. I will. Want to tell him yourself? Uh, yeah, is he right there? Hey, Freddie. What do you think, man? You think I can break it? You think I can break par? Get the mega bonus? <laughs> he, does not, he does not think you can break it. All right. Well, that, we'll leave it on that. See you guys. I think I stood up to the fucking the demons. <sighs> well, not right at first, but. Well, I mean, what yeah, am I going to say? came around to it. Yeah, let's go fucking yeah. do it, man. Yeah. 144. Got a pitching wedge? Yeah. I mean, diet Lars here. That's good. Ball right. Go. All right. Okay. All right. Three from there. Go to the front fringe. Ah, stubby boy. Break. Uh, it's buggy, folks. Mm. Was not comfy on that chip. All right, time to channel Mr. Watson. All right, 298. We like that number. Three straight sub 300 par fours. And we've got. All right, Randy. I'm going uh, just left of the flag. There's a tree, tree trunk I like. Cut. Trying. I don't know. Got around that one tree out there, we'll be all right. <laughs> Come on, not right now, guys. Please. Will you check in that bush? Oh, fuck. Yeah. I need you guys to talk to me. Yeah, I mean, like, I, my hands are shaking on that last putt. I just said to Randy, I'm going out swinging. I mean, life imitates art. It, that's it in, in in the flesh, right there, people. We've got what? Been a little... Two reachable par fours. 
Yeah, 258 yeah. and two. I, I told him he's essentially he's got three straight par threes. That's how he's got to look at it. I want to say yours came in and went that way. I think it did. Right? Yeah. Ah, good putt. Hey, you couldn't sit on the tee and hit it into that bush if you tried. It just happened. <laughs> Neil, how would you... Uh, <laughs> how would you sum it up? Uh... Time is a flat circle. Lot, lot going, lots of change in the world, but some things remain the same. You know, from the bunker, he's pretty much got a hole it. Give it a shot. Oh, good run, man. No, no decision errors today. Like, you know, you got a cut, you got a bad break. Rub of the green, it, it happens. Yeah, and Nothing. I and no real. You know what else? I don't think I missed long all day, sure. which is like. That's a good thing. Just to, this was it wasn't this wasn't it. This wasn't gonna be a spot. So, and I, you know what? Rain usually shoots me straight. Like after the fact, like I mean, dude, like what the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> you know. And so to hear you say that makes me feel yeah. Better. Did you do it? No, I'm not. It's a little heavy. I've never been one to watch the news. The clubhouse is cool. Like, it seems like a little old radio station, former radio station. I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's everything you want in a cheap public muni. Buy a case of beer and some groceries. And but listen, we're chasing. We're chasing. We're pressing. Proud of you. Maybe pressing a little too much. I thought your decision making today was really good. I think there's a lot we can build on there. Greg, now I would like to say something about Randy's golf game. It's jarring to see him hit the ball so well. Like, because I'm, it's no offense, like I still have like you shanking it in Scotland. Like, sure. you know, you, you hitting the squirrely, like low hooded balls and stuff. Watching you navigate a course the last like three, four months is, is a joy. It's like, um, it's kind of like George W. Bush's painting. Like, he's not a painter, but like when he goes on like, I remember he was on like uh, Jimmy Kimmel or something, and he like brought like something he painted. You're like, holy shit, that's like really good. But you know he's not like an artist, like he couldn't sell it, but it's like, dude, he like, he's picking it up, you know? Like that is like real, like that he's doing it. And that's what I feel like you're doing. I can't, I can't decide if that's like the nicest thing you could ever say to me or like the most mean thing I don't you could know, ever it just kind of hit me on the court. I, that might be his Jack Reacher. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, <laughs> but it's good. That's what I'm saying. But it's not like, it's, it's, it's not like crazy It's such a backhanded good. compliment. It's such a backhanded compliment. It is a little bit. I feel like you're locking me up in a proverbial Hague right now. It's like, wow, Randy, you're not abhorrent. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that. It's more like, um, it, it's like, uh, uh, you don't offend my senses. No, no, like it, it, the way you're, the way you're hitting the ball, you know, you're yeah. fulfilling your potential in a way. Thank you. Like it, the improvement is noticeable. Whereas like, I guess that's what I'm getting out with George W. Bush. Like he's never going to be Picasso, right? But like, it's good. And like, dude, you can, he can keep getting better and better. It's like the paint, it was just, it just, the, the, I guess what I'm getting at, it was, a, it was so jarring to see George W. Bush be good at painting. <laughs> and it's been jarring to see how much better you at golf than you were six months ago. Stick with it, Randy. I'll, I'll <laughs> take it. It's, it's great, man. I, it's it's just a really fun walk, and then it's like you know, sixteen bucks. Yeah. Good luck finding a better one, better deal. Yeah. Fun day. Cut. Cut. <laughs> <laughs>